We start with breaking news first at four with a confusing situation in Denver. A handcuffed suspect shoots a police officer just before he was to be booked in jail. Yeah, another officer shot back and the suspect is now in critical condition. Fortunately, the officer is okay and we are told that he was released from the hospital earlier today. Thanks for being with us now first at four. We have a lot of questions on this. Our investigator Katie Weiss is with us now to break this all down. And Katie, you are learning of new information that has just come, just arrived. Yes, a lot of new details details at this hour, Kelly and Karen. Just this afternoon, Denver police are telling me the suspect is 33-year-old Daniel Cheeseman. Here's a mugshot of Cheeseman police just sent me within the hour. They say it's from a 2019 arrest, and since Cheeseman is still in the hospital today, he doesn't have a new mugshot. Police say Cheeseman shot a Denver police officer in the neck as he was being taken out of the back of a cop car at the downtown Denver Detention Center just last night before 11. A police affidavit that just released this hour says Cheeseman fired four rounds at police. That's when another officer opened fire on Cheeseman. Now, we're told police initially arrested Cheeseman last night for fentanyl distribution and car theft. He's now charged with attempted murder of a police officer and possession of a weapon by a previous offender. Court records show Cheeseman has a long rap sheet, and according to police records, he was previously convicted in 2016 of escape from a pending felony. Now, one big question remains. How exactly did Cheeseman still have a gun on him? I've asked police, and they tell me that's still under investigation. And of course, I'll keep you all posted as I learn more. And Katie, we know there's several investigations are looking into this. Yes, that's right. Several different agencies. I'm told the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, Colorado State Patrol, and Denver Police Detectives are all investigating this under the supervision of the Denver Office of the Independent Monitor. A lot of questions to be asked here. All right, Katie, thank you so much.